Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Phantom JS driver in your Selenium C# -sharp test. So first thing, go to phantomjs.org and then click on download link. Now, depending on the operating system, you have to download a zip folder and extract it and put Phantom JS on your system path. In case of Windows, you can do that by going into environment variables and then go to path and give the path to this extracted zip folder and then find the bean folder up to that path you can add within system. So once that path gets added, you can use command prompt, then type in phantom JS and if you get REPL, that means you have phantom JS installed on your system. So you get prompt like this and you can run your phantom JS test on Visual Studio as well. Now open Visual Studio and then open your Selenium C Sharp project. Now type in using openqa.selenium first this class and after that using openqa selenium dot phantom js now you have these two classes next thing create driver variable and call for phantom js driver now you can navigate to let's say go to url and here you type in in.wikipedia.org after that we will create one variable names url which is going to be a string and then point driver dot url and then console dot right line and use url string over there and also going to pause the output so that it won't close the console window. Now you need to know one thing that PhantomJS, CasperJS and HTML unit driver are headless browser. So you are not going to get any UI or browser window for them. Anything that you do will be visible only on console. Now save the program and execute the code. here you find all the messages and finally you will get that URL message here if you get that message that means phantom JS executed the code successfully now it will take some time and then it shows the URL which we are on right now and you can close the window because our test is completed and we are not running any driver.quit or close method. Okay, if you want, you can use them and that will close this console window. Okay, so now you can go through the code and try it on your own. 